Hi guys and welcome to another WordPress video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well we've built this WooCommerce shop site here. Um, this is part of a course we did online if you want to take the course. I've got a discount coupon below this video if you want to learn how to build this particular site. We used a, a free template and a free WordPress build to build this site here. It's a clothing store with all kind of different things and accessories and bits and pieces. What we're going to do in this series of video, we're going to install a plugin called Elementor, which will allow us to build extra pages. We've got plenty of pages on here. But what it's going to do is allow us to build real custom style pages. So follow along with this series and we'll show you how to build some great things using the Elementor plugin. Hi guys, we're going to continue on with our page edit today. We've created these images with a hover overlay and a little text section with a button and a section with a background image there. Let's go below and today we'll create four little boxes and we'll use some image boxes. So either hit edit with Elementor. I've actually got mine over open here. So I'm going to go ahead and start from here. Let's go down to where we want to go. Let's hit the little red cross and add another section. This section, let's give it four columns. And in our columns, if we click on the little grid with the buttons on it right there, the square grid looking thing up here. It'll give us our modules here. Let's go down and let's grab an image box from over here. This is pretty similar to what, what's called a blurb module on, on other building platforms. Okay, I guess we'll start with an image, then we'll decide what we want to write about it. So I'm going to click on the image right here, it'll take us to our media library. Let's go ahead and start with some shoes, I guess. And let's give it the heading of daily fashion. And I really don't know what to put here. Something like that whatever whatever the caption is you have the one in there and for me that image is far too small i'd like to see it a lot bigger the title there the size is okay i think i'd like to make it this blue color that we got going on here so let's go to my page i've got open here let's just select this color and get the blue again usually i'd have these colors written in a little notepad so i can just copy them when i need them I'm using Chrome Inspector here and all I did was right click on the element I wanted to inspect and hit inspect. It brings up the inspector console here. As long as you've got your styles tab, it'll tell you the CSS over here and you can copy colors and what have you. Okay, let's go back and give that title that color. So let's go to style. And we've got the image width. I want it to be complete width of this so I'm going to take that up to 100 spacing I'm going to take that down to zero because I want the, the words to be as close as possible to it that's fine because what I'm going to do is I'm going to plonk a button just down below here content let's make our header that nice blue color I just copied here's the title Here's the color. Let's just paste that color in there. The blue, dark blue. There we go. And I'd like to see that uppercase, I think, you know, capitalized. Let's just close that up. Hit the typography button. Go down to transform and let's make this uppercase. And that will capitalize it. There we go. 
And I think let's just add this. It's a little more text. Don't miss out. There we go. That'll be fine. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to steal one of our buttons up here. So I'm going to go to the little blue icon, or you can just click on whatever it is. Right click on your mouse and hit duplicate. I'm going to grab it. I'm simply going to, when I've got the hand icon, I'm simply going to left click and drag and put it where I want it. Which is right under there. There we go. Okay, so that's pretty much what I'm looking for there. So let's go in and link these to where we want them to go. So I want this to go to shoes, I guess, or fashion shoes. Let's have a look. I've got the site up here. Let's decide where we want to go. On sale. Let's see about categories. I guess we'll just go to shoes. So I'm going to copy the link address. I guess you could take them to on sale items or wherever it is you happen to want them to go with the the image that you've got here so I'm going to click on that image again and should give us an option to link it there we go there's the link down below here and I'll just paste that link in there if you want to like I say before you can knock the domain name off of the front because it's going to look there anyway anyway but I'm going to leave that that's fine and I also want to link it with this button right here so I'm going to put the same link in the link for the button Okay, so let's update that and have a look. And if we like it, I'm going to copy it four times and just change it around. So it's updated. Let's take a look. Preview button down here. Scroll down. There it is right there. Yeah, I think that's okay. So let's copy this four times. All I'll do is I'll copy it once just to show you how easy it is. Here's our image box. I'm going to right click, duplicate. Just duplicate it. Just simply grab it, drag it to where you want to put it. Let's change out our image here. And I guess we'll use some bags. I don't know anything about these things. Fashion, let's say. Fashion bags. Fashion bag. Okay, and where do we want this to take? Let's go to the site. I think we've got a bag category, haven't we? There we go, bags. Get that to take them there. Copy link address or wherever you want to take them, internal or external, it really doesn't matter. And put the link in right here. And I want to duplicate this button right here again. Right click, duplicate. Drag it across. And it's up top, I want it down the bottom. Drag it down the bottom. Okay, we're on the button. Let's paste our link in here as well. Uh, fashion, I guess we'll say fashion bags. I guess I want to change the wording on this button as well to Okay, and I'm just going to continue and do the other two exactly the same way. And I'll, I'll pause while I'm doing that and I'll just show you what we've got afterwards. Okay, well, I've just finished the last one now. I'm pretty happy with that. They all link to where we want them to go. The image and the button. You could make the title link also. But this whole module is going to link, so that's fine. Let's update and preview what we've got.
there we go there's our little row with four columns of our specials that should take us to this should take us to shoes and it does and make sure the image will take us to bags and it does fantastic so there you have it there's how to make four columns with some image modules and a button link on the bottom I hope you found that useful and enjoyed it. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free courses down there, as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. So do check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.